Welcome to Keeping It Real with KC. I am your host, KC Phoenix, and this is another episode where this is the fourth one I'm doing today. And I'm trying to get all of these episodes done and ready to upload, which I think this will be the most episodes I've done in a single day ever. And right now I'm on the fourth, recording the fourth episode today. I'll get the housekeeping out the way. KIRWKC.com, the main podcasting site. KIRWKC Instagram. KIRWKC Twitter. Facebook.com forward slash KIRWKC. Thank you for the likes on the Facebook pages. I appreciate it more than you know. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. That way you will know when I upload new YouTube videos. If you're watching on Daily Motion, please hit the subscribe button. And that is the housekeeping. All right. For this, This is talking about remove what doesn't serve you. I recently, probably about three weeks ago, I was looking at my wall. And right by the wall, there was this desk. Because I have two desks or had, as I go into the story, you'll understand why it's had. Now, I have two desks in my apartment. In my apartment, I had a short desk and then I have an L-shaped desk in my apartment. I was looking at the wall and I saw the short desk and I saw these things that were, that I had set on it. And just a little English thing, if it can't sit on its own, is set, S-E-T. I just had to throw that out there. Don't know why, just did. All right. So I was, I was looking at some things that I had set on the desk, on the short desk. And I said to myself, this is taking up space here. All of the stuff that's on this desk can fit on my L-shaped desk. Why not just put it there? Remove the short desk and then I'll have more room to walk around. Or possibly put something in its place if I so choose. So I decided to remove the short desk. I took all of the objects that I had set on the short desk and I set them on my larger desk, my L-shaped desk. I set the short desk outside by the garbage can. And This goes to show one man's junk is another man's treasure. I set the desk outside by the garbage can. The garbage people did not take away the desk. I think because where the garbage can, where where they set, where they're set at, I put the desk behind the area which I thought they would still be able to see them but maybe they didn't, or they did, and didn't want to take it. Regardless, they didn't take the desk. So I look a day or two later, and one of the people who uh, stays in the building, they took the desk and put it on the back of their truck. So that's a little side thing. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Even though this is about removing things 
that don't serve you. People need to learn how to let go of things that don't benefit them anymore, things that don't serve them, things that take up space in their life, whether it's physical space like the desk that I had in my apartment, the short desk, or whether it's people, whether it is relationships, or should I say certain relationships, because people in certain relationships, they can be separate. You can have a certain relationship with someone that doesn't serve you. You can have a physical relationship with someone. You can remove that relationship and still keep the person, but you can remove the physical relationship. You can have an emotional relationship with someone that doesn't serve you. If it is keeping you unbalanced, you need to remove it. And just like I mentioned in my in my other podcast, no, where people are so afraid of saying no. I also believe people are afraid sometimes to remove certain things out of their lives. They're afraid to remove it even though they know in their heart, they know in their spirit, it's not serving them. They know. But they're afraid to remove it because they can't seem to picture what their life will be like without it. Whether it's a job someone's been on for 10 or 15 years that they don't like. They're afraid to remove it and seek out something better because they can't imagine what their life would be like without the job that they hate, that drains their energy. People have a relationship with someone, romantic. They've been dating this person romantically involved for three, four, five years. They know the person doesn't give them what they need in a relationship. But because they've had the relationship for so long, they're afraid to remove it because they don't know what their life would be like if that relationship that doesn't serve them is not there. They can't imagine that there's someone better out there that can give them what they need and what they want. Shameless plug. Check out my episode, You Have More Than One Soulmate. People need to become more comfortable with removing what doesn't serve them. If something does not benefit you, if something throws off your balance. It is not serving you. 
Now, there are some situations where it's sometimes, where something, a certain relationship might throw off your balance from time to time, but it's not a regular occurrence. I'm talking about things that are a regular occurrence. If something regularly throws off your balance, it doesn't serve you. And you need to wake up and realize that it doesn't serve you. And if it doesn't serve you, remove it. I promise you, life will go on. I said it before. Life went on before you and I. Life will go on after you and I. Life goes on. On. If you have been on your job for 10 or 15 years and you hate it, even though it's paying the bills, but you hate it, it's, it makes you miserable. The only thing it does is pay bills, but you're still not balanced because you're not happy. Find a way to remove it. Find a way to upgrade your skills. Take a look outside and see if there are other jobs available that suit you, something that you would be happier doing to bring more balance to you internally. You shouldn't be afraid of removing what doesn't serve you. Because if it doesn't serve you, you will never be balanced as long as it's part of your life. There has to be balance. Some things in life run their course. Some things can only peak but so high. You can't make a thousand foot mountain, 2,000 feet. It only goes to a thousand feet. So you have to find another mountain to climb. So you can see a better view. You won't be able to see the views from a thousand foot mountain that you would from one that's 2,000 feet. The views will be vastly different. And I'm just using that as a metaphor. I don't think off the top of my head, if you want to get technical, I don't think any mountain is 2,000 feet. Because I think Mount Everest might be what? 1,300? But whatever. Um, I'm sure you get the point. You... To, to make it more technical and within range. If you're at the 10th story of a building, you won't get the same view if you're at the 25th story of a building. You're going to get a better view. But some buildings can only go up 10 stories have to find another building if you want a better view. You have to remove what doesn't serve you and not be afraid of it. And I'm not saying it won't hurt sometimes. It'll probably hurt like hell, to be honest. But even after it hurts like hell, Life will still go on. Learn how to remove the things that don't serve you. The things that break balance, things that leave you unbalanced. 
If it affects your balance, learn how to remove it. It doesn't serve you. You don't have to wake up tomorrow and, and throw every single thing out of your life. I'm not saying that. You can wake up tomorrow and write down some of the things that are throwing off your balance. And then from there, you can make a plan to say, okay, within a month, I'll remove this. I know sodas don't serve me. It me sodas mess with my blood sugar. They're not good. They're not healthy. They don't serve me. So I'm I'll remove sodas, but I'll do it little by little. With the job situation that I mentioned, being on the job for 15 years. If it doesn't serve you, you don't have to quit tomorrow. You can start a business on the side and build that business up over some years. And when you have enough income coming in from the business that you started on the side, you can quit the job and remove it because it doesn't serve you. Or... You can build up your skills and then over six months to a year, you can start putting out resumes, seeing who's interested in your new skills, in the new you. And once someone hires you, you will have removed a job that didn't serve you. If you have friends, where you feel the relationship has peaked as high as it can and it leaves you unbalanced more than balanced. Remove it and over time you will eventually find new friends if you want them. But the main thing is, learn how to remove what doesn't serve you. You have to keep your balance. It's all about you. And that's all I got. Thank you for watching and listening. KIRWKC.com for the main podcasting website. KIRWKC for the uh, Instagram, K-I-R-W-K-C for Twitter, Facebook.com forward slash K-I-R-W-K-C. Don't forget to like. YouTube, don't forget to like. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Daily Motion, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and all of that good stuff. Thank you for the second, third, fourth, fifth time. I say thank you all the time because I'm thankful to anybody who takes the time to listen to or watch this podcast. It will always mean more to me than you will ever know. Thank you again. Be blessed.